Well, it's my birthday and I can go fishing if I want to. I have just launched a Takapuna and I am going around the Rangitoto area to go and do some saltwater fly fishing for the day. It's been ages since I've last done some good saltwater fly fishing, so I'm really looking forward to it. First up is going to see if there are any kingfish at home on any of the markers. And then after that, it is a hunt for kawa and snapper. And hopefully we can get all three of those today, but fingers crossed, anything uh, will be good at the moment. I haven't caught a saltwater fish for some time, so let's get on and get moving. Uh, I don't feel very optimistic about the markers, so I am going to find somewhere else and see if I can maybe target some snapper in the shallows. This is a good spot where there's often car wire around. Not a lot of current today. But we were passing into the rocks, stripping back for car wire. A little fish there. And anything at the moment? Six meters, so I think I need to get the uh, sinking line out. The, all right, sea anchors are out. Now time for a bit of a drift. So the idea is to get this to the bottom and strip it along the bottom or let it swing across the bottom or sometimes just let it sit. That's when uh, I like you to pick up a snapper is when it's on the bottom. Got a fish. Yes. Yes. It feels like a snapper. Well, a fish. Cool. Took very hard for the size of it. <laughs> Definitely not huge. Get the net. the deep drifting worked. Uh -huh. A snapper! <laughs> it's not legal though but it's a snapper on fly which is cool. Nice little fish. It was great to get the success of that snapper. I tried a couple more drifts but the current picked up too much and I just couldn't hit the bottom anymore. So I moved on to some islands off the end of Mototapo. So here I put the electric motor to the test for the first time trying to work my way around the edge of the islands and do some casting into the shallow water and finally things clicked. Yes, Kawai. Yes, around the rocks. Yes, yes. Woohoo! Yes, this is cool. I was just hoping for something like that. Kawai in the wash or a snapper. That's cool. Nice, very cool, <laughs> very cool. Well, that was really cool. That was just what I wanted. I wanted that kawai or a snapper or something out of the wash. Perfect, school came out, I could see them and then it took right at the boat and got my kawai. So that's gonna be a dinner kawai because it's bleeding as well anyway. So I'm gonna sort that out and get him on the ice straight away. So I couldn't repeat the success with the kawai even after a few more drifts. So I ended up going all the way around Mototapo and after exploring some shoreline, I found a sheltered bay where I put some flies deep down for the snapper in about six to eight meter. And uh, this is what happened. Well, time for another go at drifting deep. Let's see if we can pick some snapper up here. There are eight meters here of the sand. Let's see what happens. Oh, yep, had a tug. That's a good sign. Didn't hook up though. 
Yep, got him. Got him. Yes. Feels like a reasonable snapper. Nice. Ha 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 ha. That's what we want it. Awesome. Exactly what I want. I want to bring him this side. Okay. This could be a dinner snapper. Let's see. Nice. <laughs> Very cool. That's a nice snapper. That could be a one for dinner. Oh, let's see. Yep. It's 33, so that's all good for dinner. Yeah, I've drifted a bit shallower now, but we'll see if that works as well. As I'll reset that drift. Oh, sorting that out. Yep, yep, got him. Nice. I was trying to put my hoodie on because the sun is just warming up a bit. And there's another snap. Ha ha ha, nice. Now this is what we were looking for. A bit of action. This is a small one. I don't think that's going to make it to the uh, table. But... There we go. Oh, cool. Very nice. Oh, that is... oh, it's a bit smaller than the previous one, so I'll let that one go. Quick look there, nice little snapper. Let's head away. Okay. Cool. Now that could become a good little session. I, I'd be very happy if that continues. So, yeah, let's now get my hoodie on, <laughs> which I still wanted to do, get uh, hide from the sun and uh, we'll get another cast in and see if that continues there we go again this i've got a tin weight when i'm fishing with at the moment the tin weight primal blitz but it's probably a little bit overkill but i need to fish with this deep sinking line which is set up on this rod so that's what i'm fishing with you could easily do this with a fast sinking line and a Six or an eight weight. Probably be better suited. Then is a bit overkill. So I do pretty well with this method of drifting shallow sandy bays and sandy bottoms with a sinking line and drifting it quite deep. I always do quite well in the summer. Anything from sort of five to eight or ten meters. If you don't have too much current and uh, you can get a nice drift. Can be deadly just casting it out swinging it's like swinging flies in the Tongariro you casting it out and swinging it across and just letting it hang there for a while if nothing happens then you just strip it back up and you do it again um, it works very well for me there we go there's another one see just see how well it works when it's on it can be just about every cast they seem to hang out I think they get shellfish and this fly that I I filmed a little bit in the water works exceedingly well for this method as well i think they take it as a kind of a shrimp or something very cool it's not a big one yeah it was, i mean they just got it to the bottom and bang okay get it in there we go only a little snappy quick look there and i'll let it go so out of the net out of the net there we go nice I was just explaining how it worked and that's pretty much how it works can be very effective at times and hopefully today it continues to be. Oh, a hard cast. Well, I'll let it be. See what happens. I'm going to just cast it out, letting it sink and then letting it swing across. And it's that last swing across the bottom that you get the tug generally. Waiting for the swing. For the snapper, you just gotta get it to the bottom. If you're not getting it to the bottom, you won't hook up. It should be fairly down now. And now it just starts swinging. And I just had a tug. There we go. That's another one. <laughs> and that's how easy. That's a bigger one. That's how easy it is. <laughs> Oh, I love it when a plan does work out. Okay. Nice. Yep, 
33. You'll go for dinner. Just a quick look before I sold that one out for dinner. Nice. Yep, there we go. Got him. Nice. <laughs> There we go, that feels a bit better. Now that feels more like what we want. Nice. Yeah, I think that's the biggest of the day so far. Nice. That's 34 centimeters. Biggest of the day, cool. There we go. All right, keep that one on. Oh, this is a small one. <laughs> oh, there is something around here. Didn't, um, Oh, okay. Oh, it's a bigger one than I thought. What's going on here? It didn't really take off at the start, but now it feels like it's better. <laughs> anyway, I'm, I'm thinking about lazy not putting on the reel. But he does feel stronger than I thought he was. Oh, nicer fish than I thought. Cool. Get there and uh, we'll get that one away soon. All right, fishy, there you go. Well, I've been having a bit of a cold and I haven't got much trout fishing done. The season's been terrible with a lot of rain and wind and I haven't got out much. Hopefully soon I'll have some more freshwater stuff, but until then, enjoy the saltwater stuff if there's more of it. And if you did enjoy this video, watch this one next. This is a snapper in the shallows from last year, which was really quite nice. And uh, you'll enjoy that. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.